Welcome back to Pass the Money, guys. Check out this video from Fat Joe on being an employee. These people play God with your lives. My titi Amalia, my wife's aunt, worked for a company for 19 years. She was months away from retiring. She thought this company was her company. Rain, sleet, or snow, she walked up every day, worked for her bosses, did all type of things for her bosses. She thought they was just one big family. One day the boss came, shut down the business. There is no security in jobs. 19 years the woman went there. They just shut down the business. Now the law, she didn't get no bonus. She didn't get no retirement. She didn't get no warning. A year's passed, Titi Amalia still crying every day. She can't believe these people did this to her. This is why you have to be your own boss. You have to know that the only person that is going to give you security you want is you. All right, Kirby. This, um, when you sent me this, this was, this was a huge one for me because I have seen people dedicate their lives to a job. And when they are laid off, it's like it's like killing them because it's become their whole life and it's it's almost like for me it's it's sad to see but at the same time i i held myself accountable in the sense of like i don't want like early on i didn't want to be someone like that where i'm in a vulnerable position in life so it's almost like it's sad but at the same time you have to be accountable for situations like that and prepare yourself because the reality is jobs don't care about the employees as many pizza days as they give you as many Christmas bonuses they give you and parties they don't care at the end you're just you're replaceable you're expendable and for whatever reason that boss wanted to shut down but they have the option to do that if they decide or if they're just the business just isn't operating as it should but kirby what do you got on this one well the video resonated me in two ways the first way it just reminded me of a story that i had when i was growing up so my mom she only worked me growing up from the age of birth till i was well in my you know i was well in high school she only worked one job and, you know it was at a insurance company that's the only job she's ever known. Um, one day, I think I was about 14, 15 years old. And my mom went to work. And when she showed up to work, they literally chained the door and closed down the business. No warning, no nothing. This was on a Monday. It was just, they didn't tell the employees. They didn't do anything. Literally chained, closed, shut, just like Fat Joe was talking about in the video. And then it was, oh, what to do? Uh, of course, my mom had the fortitude to keep driving on, keep pushing on. And then she got on with uh, another branch of that company. But that wasn't the case for most of the employees at that company that shut down. Um, so that's why when he said it, I was like, oh, that resonates. I understand. Um, but for a lot of the people, her coworkers, her friends that worked in that same building with her, they had to start their careers over life was like literally over they didn't know what to do because this is the only thing that they know um so that was the first part that resonated with me the second part was what he said at the end was the only person that's responsible for your well-being and your financial security i'm paraphrasing here is you um going on i'm gonna revert back to my mom you know my mom continued to work you know this for for all the new generations, this thing called pensions. You know, pensions is something after you get work. I mean, get done working, they still pay you after you're done working. You won't know nothing about that because the pension system is gone now for most, for the most part. But so she continued to work, and then she retired, and she received a pension. She had a 401k, had some money in there. Now she's on Social Security. But those, all the work that she put in, and my mom worked hella overtime. She put in many hours for these for this company the money that she has now don't afford her the ability to live financially free in retirement i mean of course the 401k this was before i knew anything about investing you know and employers don't teach their employees about the 401k system so of course all the investments was god awful you know 
they was like really like money market CDs that they was in. So really no money going there. And that's why we always talk about, like we talked about in another video, you know, building your own letter. Um, we talk about taking care of yourself. You're responsible for you. Nobody cares about you more than you. So it's up to you to make sure these things get done. And making sure these things get done is not payday comes on Friday, going to the club on Saturday and working just to pay the bills again and doing rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat for the next 30 or 40 years. You know, you just thinking that, oh, because I got the job, I, I'm always going to be good. There's an end to everything. There's an end to life. There's an end to jobs. And like you said, em employers, they don't care about employees. I'm, you will have some people that have, you know, have some kind of emotional care. But when it comes to dollars and cents of a business, the owner of that business is going to look after his family before he looks after your family. So... When that business closed down, the owner was thinking, hey, I got to keep enough money for my family to hell with everybody else's family. And that's just, you know, the law of attrition. You know, why would he care more about what you feed your family than he cares about his, he or she as, as the owner? That's what happens. So it's up to you to use that paycheck, that job to leverage that to build more for yourself. Because at the end of the day, it will all come to an end. And then what you have, what you have after that, that's what your retirement life, that's what your, the rest of your life is going to look like. Unless you want to just, you know, keep on working, maybe at Walmart, being a greeter, checking receipts or whatever you want to do. But who really wants to work for the rest of their life just to keep the head below water? And that's where most people at today. Yeah. And you see this with almost everybody. They go their whole life without investing anything and not preparing at all for retirement or for an emergency like this. And they put too much faith on this job. Like their lifestyle is dependent on the income that they bring from that salary, from that wage. And there's no other income. There's no other rainy day fund or investments or nothing. And this really puts you in a bad situation because like we like he said that the most unexpected thing can happen 19 years at a job you're not expecting to get laid off you're not expecting the company to get shut down and even people that may watch this right now they may think to themselves too like their company unless it's a huge company like you said walmart but they may not think that the company is going to lay them off or anything like that i've seen it at our company i've seen People literally dedicate their careers to this company. They started right when the company started up. And uh, one guy, actually, he um, he just sacrificed his whole life for this company. He got cancer. They ended up kicking him out of the department because he wasn't of any use replacing him. And then he just died. And like companies do not care for they just they're just an operating machine. And so you really have to take control of your own life and really think ahead you know that's been a big thing for me my whole life is think ahead think of the future where i want to be rather than just use the now to get to that point in life because at, it's coming and be prepared and, and to wrap it up this let's just take this for instance if people really sat down and just took five minutes out of their life and crunched the numbers you're telling me people are willing to work all of their life to get to retirement age, let's just say 65, to retire and live on less than what you made when you was working. That's what everybody does. Because you don't work at a job and then when you retire, they keep giving you the same paycheck. You might get 50%. If you get a pension, you might get 50%, 30% of your base pay. And then let's say you add on social security that might get you to 50 to 75 percent of the money that you was making when you was working so you've been living your life based on this lifestyle of your income to 64 years 364 days 365th day you retire and then you make less money how does that make sense
How did that make sense economically? If people just sat down and thought about that, I work all my life to get to retirement age and I get paid less when the cost of everything when I started working is way higher than it was when I end work. People are treadmilling. They're going nowhere fast. And then they're hoping that, you know, they have some kids and their kids bail them out, but they don't teach their kids the mistakes that they made. And then the perpetual cycle keeps going year after year, generation after generation. And then that's why even now when we had the greatest economic generation of the baby boomers, they producing kids and it's still in the same trope. The same cycle still goes on. People are working now to make less money in retirement when the cost of everything will balloon higher because they work. They think that the company will take care of them. They have this false notion the government will take care of them. And the truth, ain't nobody going to take care of you but you, just like Fat Joe said. With all that being said, guys, leave us a comment down below on your experience. Share this video, like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.